Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today for Tips Tuesday, I have a tip for tech time during the summer. So if you're like me, um, you don't really like to have your kids cooped up in their rooms all day watching TV, playing video games on their iPads and whatnot, um, especially during summer break. I like to limit the amount of screen time my kids have. This has always been a thing with me since they were born. Just based on studies and things like that, I just don't feel like my kids need to be in front of a screen 24-7. That being said, we live in a time where... Being on the iPad and playing video games and watching TV and even playing on the computer, the kids play on the computer quite a bit, um, is what's intriguing to the kids. So my husband and I had to come up with a system to make sure that we are limiting the amount of time that our kids are spending in front of a screen and make sure that they're getting outside, that they're reading, that they're practicing their math facts and doing all those things that you need to keep up with during the summer so that they don't fall behind in school and also so that they're actually enjoying their childhood and not just watching someone else's. Last year I actually came up with a system using tech time cards. I'm not sure if I ever um, shared them. Uh, if I did, I will link them down below. But basically, I just created these cards, really simple. Um, basically, I used PicMonkey, which is a website you can use most of their things for free. I do pay for it um, because you get like more features if you pay for it. But um, and I just used the shape and put text into it. So this is 30 minutes. It's blue, so I know it's Junior's, and it has his initials. Kaylee's are a light purple and have our initials. So I've had these since last year. I printed them out on cardstock. I don't have the file for this, but like I said, it's really simple. You could just do a plain square, rectangle, circle, whatever's easier for you. I got a little fancy, and to tell you the truth, cutting them out was a pain in the butt. So the kids do get 10 tech time cards a week. So they're 30 minutes each. So that is an hour every day during the week. We don't use tech time cards during the weekend mainly because we aren't home most of the day. And if we are home, we're usually outside working on the yard or working on some sort of big project together as a family where they don't get as much time to use their tech time anyways. So we kind of just give them free range. Also, mom and dad like to sleep in on the weekends. <laughs> and my kids wake up really early. So on the weekends, I just give them free reign. They can wake up and get on their iPad or turn on their TV or whatever they want. Um, my kids are seven and eight now, so they do get themselves breakfast sometimes. Um, and mostly on the weekends, they do get themselves cereal or yogurt or some sort of breakfast. So it's become kind of a thing where we they can use them however they want. Some days, um, Kaylee's mostly will use no tech time for a whole day and then we'll use three the next day or something like that. Um, it's also a good way to show them kind of like budgeting because they only have 10. Once they run out, they're out. I mean, um, that's just the way it works. This year, I did change it up just a little bit and I just created this again in PicMonkey and these are our tech time rules. Now this year I've found that I have to be a little more strict. Um, I have to let, lay things out, kind of. Um, my kids are starting to get slick. They're starting to try to figure out ways to work around the system. So we have to be very rigid and very specific with them. That being said, I did also add in ways that the kids can earn extra tech time. I think it's important to let them earn more of something that they enjoy and I just felt like my husband and I felt like it would be something beneficial for them. So tech time rules. That's the first thing here and I just did four simple rules. The first rule is your room has to be clean and your bed has to be made first. Before you're allowed to use any tech time I need everything off the floor in your room and put back where it goes and I need your bed fixed. That's always been a rule. Um, Especially during the summer though, I like for them to wake up and pick up their room if it's messy and fix their bed so that they start the day with a clean room. 
uh, when it was during the school year and they wanted to use their iPad after they did their homework and everything, I always made them clean up their room first. So I want to stick to that. So bed and room must be the way it's supposed to be. Um, number two, tech time rule number two is one hour at least of outside time every day. So I'm not going to just let them do tech time and then just sit around or just do things to earn extra tech time and do tech time all day. No, they have to go play outside at least one hour a day. Uh, tech time rule number three is once the cards are gone, they're gone. There's no arguing about it. There's no making adjustments or anything like that. Once you use the card, it's gone. So if I have to tell you, oh, your bed's not fixed. You can't use the rest of your tech time card. It's gone. I'm not saving the 15 minutes it took you to fix your bed. If you didn't fix your bed before you used it and I let you use it because I was trusting your word and I went into your room and your bed wasn't fixed, you lost the rest of your tech time. That's just the way it works. And number four, and this is something I found I had to add, is that you need to, they need to take at least a 10 minute break in between using tech time cards. I found that Junior especially would use a half hour and then ask for another half hour, then ask for another half hour, and I wouldn't see the kid for like two hours straight. He'd be in his room just on his iPad or playing video games or whatever. I want them to take a little bit of a break, let their mind like come to, and maybe they'll find that they start playing with something during those 10 minutes and they won't want to use another tech time card, and that's kind of the idea behind it. So those are my rules that I, you know, put out in paper so they can see. Okay, so we added in earning extra time. So I added that here. I put read a chapter. So um, if they read a chapter in their chapter book, both of my kids are reading chapter books right now. So um, if they read a chapter in a chapter book, I give them 10 minutes. Now, if it was just like reading like picture books, maybe I would have done the time thing a little different, but my kids can get through a chapter pretty quickly. So read a chapter book, you get 10 minutes. Uh, read a nonfiction book, they get 30 minutes. Now the reason that the nonfiction book gets so much time is because nonfiction is a big thing that they work on in our school. Um, you, you use a different part of your brain. This is something I've learned. Um, you use a different part of your brain to process and understand the facts and everything and even like remember the facts that are in a nonfiction book. And it's a lot harder for kids to really get into nonfiction unless it's something they're really interested in. So I have a whole bunch of nonfiction books in our personal home library and um, I want my kids reading them and I want them understanding them and when they finish reading the book I'll be like oh so tell me something about if it's an animal tell me something about the animal tell me something about the country you know things like that I want them to start retaining these facts and I want to know that they're understanding these things so they get 30 minutes of tech time for reading a nonfiction book if they finish a chapter book I give them an extra hour this being because a chapter book takes a while and it's a big accomplishment for them. Um, right now my kids are both reading Diary of the Wimpy Kid books. So those are longer books, pretty advanced books. So I feel like I feel like an hour for that is fair. Plus they're getting their 10 minutes for chapters. Now the chapter breakup in Diary of a Wimpy Kid is a little different because it goes by days. So my husband and I are still kind of trying to figure out exactly how we're gonna rate a chapter because a day passage can be like a paragraph and I can't give them 10 minutes for a paragraph. I don't wanna do that. So we'll, we're still figuring that out a little bit. This is one my husband thought of is a book report. If they do some sort of presentation, draw us a picture, um, do a skit, sing a song, write a poem, something like that, some sort of pre presentation, um, I put book report. I don't mean that they're gonna go write a book report, but if they can give us some sort of report on the book that they read, they'll get an extra 10 minutes. So, and this is for the chapter books. So they can get a total of an hour and 10 minutes for finishing the book once they do the book report and everything, plus 10 minutes per chapter. So they earn a lot for reading. Um, write a short story. This is something we're also working on. I like to give my kids like a picture and have them write a story about it. That's um, that's a skill that's really important and something that I like to foster in my children. I am studying, I have an associate's degree in teaching in elementary education and I'm studying special education and elementary education. So these types of things I'm passionate about. So it's not necessarily something that will work for everyone, but it's something that I enjoy and to see my kids write a story, to read a story that they've written is important to me and I want them to find their love of writing and actually be able to use it. 
So for writing a short story, they get 30 minutes. Um, practicing math facts, another important thing is math. I don't want them to lose their grip on math. Um, my husband's really big on doing math things with them. So any type of practicing their math facts, they'll get 15 extra minutes. And then doing extra chores will give them 30 minutes. So they have ways to earn extra time. Plus I give them an hour a day. So I feel like I'm very fair with that. I only expect them to play outside for an hour. I expect them to take 10 minutes breaks, you know, and, and in order to earn the extra time, there's a lot of things that are um, thought provoking, a lot of things that I feel are things that we need to keep up with during the summer. So I feel like it's something useful. Now on the bottom here, I have this little rectangle and it says lose time. Now these are the ways that they can lose cards out of their envelopes. So the first one is to use tech time without using a card. The rule is you say, hey mom, dad, can I use a tech time card? And we say yes or no. And then we set a timer. Now if you don't tell us that you want to use tech time and we catch you using tech time, you lose a card. Um, using tech time past the timer is also what a way to lose a card. So if you were using a card, the timer goes off, we tell you your time's up and you're still using the card, you automatically use a sec lose a second card. That's it. You're not allowed to continue to use the tech time. You just lose a card. That's it. Um, arguing and why slash arguing or whining about tech time. That's another way to lose one. I found that they will, that's not fair or that 30 minutes went too fast or no, I have more cards left than that. You did it wrong. Anything like that. Not happening with me. You lose tech time. Misbehavior. This is something we use our own judgment with. Again, I still do use the I still do use the class dojo app and I will link that video up here that I talk about that for behavior where I give them positive and negative reinforcement through that app I still do use that however for certain things big things um I will take tech time away just because I feel like just taking a dojo is not gonna drive home the fact that the behavior that they are showing is inappropriate so i will take tech time for that and the last thing that will make them lose tech time is their chores not being done by the end of the day now i will go into chores in a whole different video but my kids have set chores that they have to do every day and if those chores and i'm not talking about cleaning your room or fixing your bed that has to be done period um if it's not done and they're using a tech time i just stop their time but chores like unloading the dishwasher, um, feeding the dog, things like that. If they're not done by the end of the day, if the end of the day comes around and I notice that they didn't do their chore, they lose a tech time card for the next day. And that's it. And that's going to show them that they need to do their chores. So that is my rules. I have this exact file with everything exactly how I wrote it that I can send you if you are interested. Unfortunately, um, it's not editable, but it's available. If you want it, just let me know. Shoot me an email or leave it in the comments down below. Go like me over on Facebook and like my page over on Facebook and leave me a comment, let me know, and I can do that. So I just keep our tech time cards in these envelopes. I labeled them Kelvin and Kaylee's tech time. And then this is used tech time. I just hang these in my command center along with this and the used tech time. I also made some extra cards. Here's a, here's an example, uh, bonus 10 minutes for a chapter read. Um, bonus 60 minutes for finishing a chapter book, things like that. So I add those in. I have to make some more bonus cards for the other bonus things. Just haven't had the time or the patience to cut the things out. But that is, so I usually just write it down to keep track of it. So that is how we are handling tech time during the summer. How do you handle tech time during the summer with your kids? I'm always open for new ideas. Leave them down in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I put a video out every weekday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Roasted Brussels sprouts and homemade Swedish meatballs over egg noodles. Today,